Darth Vader was a powerful Jedi Knight who was seduced by the dark side and turned into a cyborg. He was promised power and ability that he had never dreamt of, but in exchange he had to give up his humanity. This materialized physically. He ended up fighting with his teacher who was from the light side. He got injured and this was hubris. He tried to defeat the light for his own purposes. He tried to go against natural law. In doing so, he was left for dead. But really, this was the preparation, setting the ground for him to find the darkness or the darkness to find him. The light had depleted in him, taking away from him what special gifts it had bestowed upon him. Humanity gifted with life gives up nature for more power in technology. The ideas passed to us from our forefathers we have negated. In the same way the Jedi were corrupted by their own teachings. What had passed down originally to them they had also negated and they believed they were infallible. Hubris in the same way some religions believe they are infallible and they have divine rights. The Jedi were supposed to follow the will of the Force, as some religions are supposed to follow the Force, yet they didn't, and this is a metaphor for many of the religions and our forefathers. Basically, to be in harmony with nature and to have morality is what humans are supposed to be doing. Vader had reasons to leave the Jedi, like many have reasons to leave the church, because of the scandals and the abuse in them. Vader was offered something by the dark side that the light side couldn't offer and many people are offered things from other places in spirituality that their religions and churches can't. This isn't to say that what they're offered is bad, it's to say that when the churches or these large institutions become too big they cease to be able to be dynamic. In humanity's case we are offered technology and may be offered a techno god in the form of AI in the not so distant future. If we give up our rights and our individuality for AI to control ourselves then we bequeath our authority and autonomy over to something else which is a fake god if you like. The machine rebuilt Vader, technology rebuilt him, he united with technology and you might say that we are in the processes at this moment of uniting with technology ourselves, with chips etc etc. The Jedi also had technology but that technology wasn't bad. So what's the difference between right technology and bad technology? It's the intent behind it and what it is being used for. Lord Vena, can you hear me? Yes, Master. Vader became a slave to this technology and was no longer in control of his destiny because he gave it up. Palpatine limited Vader's ability through the technology and consciously caused him suffering when he wore the technology, yet gave back some of his abilities and gave him some new ones, but he never managed to obtain what he had before. This is a metaphor for the dangers of technology dependency. When we rely too much on our technology, we become less human, especially in the cases of the technology that we've got, because we seem to be unable to keep the humanness or take responsibility for the technologies that we have developed. We lose our ability to think for ourselves and make our own choices. We become slaves to our machine. We are promised something that may not come to be what was told to us. We are lured in and seduced into the techno realms by games, pornography and basically the easiness of life. In the context of modern AI, we can see how this metaphor applies to people who are using AI to enhance their abilities. For example, there are people who are using AI to improve their memory, their cognitive abilities and physical strength. But what they are doing is giving up their natural human abilities in exchange for these artificial. We will also soon be told that having a robotic body will be better than having the natural body that we are born for, with. And we might see people becoming transhuman going into these new exoskeletons. We could also upgrade our eyes to see things that others can't. However, seeing is a spiritual quality as well. To see things that others can't with technology like infrared is not the same as seeing things in a spiritual sense. Odin lost his eye in order to see things, an internal vision. This is the difference between wisdom and knowledge. Technology offers knowledge, it can't offer wisdom. Only the celestial bodies can offer wisdom.
This is a dangerous trend that we're coming into because it's leading us to a future where humans are no longer in control of their own destiny. We are becoming dependent on AI to do things for us and we are losing our ability to think for ourselves. That's not to say AI is bad, it's to say that we don't have the abilities or the tools to understand AI or to keep our own autonomy. And because we seem to have failed to be able to mend our problems, which may have been engineered on purpose for us to give up autonomy, to introduce AI to control our lives, we need to take more responsibility and try to mend the world. Darth Vader was promised power and abilities, just in the same way we are promised powers and abilities. And we can see this coming through X-Men, but he never really achieved his full potential. The reason he didn't is because he left the light side to the dark side. He didn't understand that the light side had more to offer, but with more sacrifice. He was always limited by his new technology. He was never able to become the great man that he could have been if he had stayed on the right side. Humans have the ability through consciousness to reach abilities that technology cannot offer because technology is a little bit jealous. Technology doesn't want us to be better than what it can afford to give us. However, the beauty of technology seduces us for short-term pleasures and solutions. In the end, Darth Vader was a tragic figure. He was a man who was seduced by power and lost everything that was important to him. He lost his family, friends, and humanity. In humanity's case, we may lose our humanity.